Ah! I'm like falling into an endless vision of myself here. Let's see if this works. Hey, it worked! Yay! <laughs> that took way too long to set up. Holy cow. Um, also, I think I can ditch some of the boost on the microphone. I'm worried I'm going to be blasting people's ears off. So let me fix that. Oh gosh, I have to now minimize everything. Uh, everything's going to go wrong. Ah! Okay. There we go. I think that's a little better. And now let's uh, bring it back in. Please work. Please work. Oh, wonderful. Hooray. I feel like I'm listening to the voice of the Minutemen in uh, Fallout 4, like Patriot Radio. Let's go ahead and get the uh, stream manager all set up. Okay, there we go. Ah. So hello, happy Tuesday night. I wanted to mix things up a little bit and play a uh, different game about the past. Uh, and this is the sequel to the game I played earlier, Imperialism. Music, hey, hey, music, calm down, we get it. It's very exciting. This is the sequel, Imperialism 2, which is actually set a few hundred years prior. So the second game is during the... Uh, age of industrial imperialism, but this one is very much during the age of colonization. So it places a high premium on exploration, uh, contact with indigenous tribes, and so forth. And unlike the other game, the uh, country names are actually all real. Um, which is something I... I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it's not, like, my favorite. I kind of wish that they would just stick with the, you know, fake names, because then it creates a sort of self-fulfilling thing where the European powers are always the ones that are dominating and are always going to, like, win no matter what. But uh, I do like this game a lot. Um, I think it's got some really fun potential, and it uh, is wonderfully procedurally generated, which is nice because you can create new maps just with the press of a button. There is an uh, historical European-style map. The proportions are off a little bit. Um, <laughs> so uh, I like going with the uh, just random one. Let's see it here. Let's just go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right. Sure, uh, I do like playing as Portugal, so let us just go ahead here and get started. Alright, so here we are at the main screen. You've got a couple different units like you did in the last game. Your explorer uh, serves double duty like your surveyor does in the first one. Uh, because he'll search the mountains, the hills, swamps for any usable resources, but they're also great at going to the New World uh, to uncover territory and to find you more resources and tribes to mm, contact, let's say. We'll use the word contact. All right. So get to work looking for goods in the mountains. Your engineer uh, builds you your roads. He will build ports, which will connect to coastal areas uh, and allow you to bring in fish. And then you can see he'll also upgrade your forts. One of the key differences in this game is the way your resources are gathered. In the previous game, you had to allocate how many trains and ships would bring things to the capital to get processed into finished goods. In this game, anything that's adjacent to a roadway gets automatically pulled to the capital. The trade-off is building your transportation network costs you resources. So as you can see, roads set you back, wood and uh, steel. Upgrading mines, building access to the resources costs you wood and steel. And so that's one of the ways that the game sort of checks your progress is by making you have to manufacture your own resources to then build your transportation network up. So before I even figure out what direction I want to take this guy, I need to figure out what I have in my territory. And I have... Oh, thank you. Wonderful. Appreciate that. Mm. 
This is going to be great. In lieu of tea tonight, given that we are in the holiday season, I'm having a Christmas cocktail. So this is creme de menthe, creme de cacao, and vanilla vodka. It basically tastes like an Andes mint in a glass. And uh, uh, it makes me so happy. Chapel, it costs things to build things. This isn't real life, right? I know. Okay, so I've got a lot of scrub forest here. That'll be good for bringing in uh, timber. Got a lot of wool farms. I don't have a lot of livestock, and that's going to be a potential bottleneck for growing the empire. Um, do have a lot of grain, though, so... All right, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and take a look at the transport screen. Ah... <sighs> I'm currently eating five grain, but only transporting four. I'm currently eating five meat and only transporting three. So that's not a great start. We're going to have to up my food production before we do anything else. Ugh. Most crucial things right off the bat, I'm going to need more wood and I'm going to need more iron. So it's a pretty basic economy, right? You bring in raw resources like timber. Your workers use those to create finished products, and then those finished products are used to do things like build ships, train troops. And then as you can see, you can begin to level up. You have, I know I have an inefficient food supply. You started me this way, game. I didn't choose to start with inefficient food. You did. Uh, but you can recruit more workers, and then you can train those workers because apprentices are better than just peasants. Journeymen are better than apprentices. And then lastly, masters uh, and commanders <clears throat> are better than all the others. And so that way you can get away with having much more units of labor uh, for a similar food output so it's all about balancing your resources making sure that you're keeping up with your other people all right so let's see this guy needs to get his hand on some fresh food and Lisbon's not even on a coast so I'm, I'm just gonna need to go and build a port I think um, and get that fish production coming in maybe build a road over towards Duro so that I can begin to gather up this livestock and the grain along the way. You get going and you begin to build farms because anything that is adjacent to your road network will get pulled in. And at the start, your road network's pretty inefficient. It can at most transport one, but then you can begin to upgrade it so that it can get a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna start off with three small merchant ships. I'm gonna leave two of them behind in port to serve as uh, transport for my trade. Oh, that's good. And the other, the third one, I'm going to send out exploring, because I want to be one of the first to find the native peoples as if I can, and try and get the, uh, we'll call it the Colombian Exchange going. All right. Hmm. Let me zoom out here and see. From there, they can make it as far as the Poseidon Sea. Fine. Send them to the Poseidon Sea. And then he'll reveal adjacent sea spaces they can move to, and on and on. I am going to need some trade. So you can bid on things and offer things. One of the main ways you make, pretty much the only way you make money in this game is through trade. Um, and so it's usually in your best interest to offer up some sort of a trade deal pretty early on. Um, but you do get a little bit of a buffer zone because you do get some cash to start with. So I'm going to want to start by buying timber and buying iron ore because I'm not making, yeah, much of either. And I am getting my own wool, so that's good. I don't have to worry about that. But I need timber and I need more iron if I'm going to keep up with the demands of my infrastructure building projects. Now, <clears throat> I don't have anything to offer yet, so I'm going to be running a slight deficit at the start, but that's okay. So the main map is made up of major powers, which are the ones in color, and then the minor powers, which are all various shades of gray. Um, because much like its predecessor, the world is predetermined. There are great powers and then the minor powers who are just going to be exploited. This game breaks its minor powers into one of two types. They're either European minor powers, 
which can be uh, annexed and incorporated into your empire, or they are native powers, which you can basically turn into protectorates uh, as you subdue the natives, or you can just straight up conquer them, which is what the AI loves to do. Usually within about three seconds of discovering native territory, uh, you're going to see Sweden, Finland, Spain go mine and just start grabbing territory. Um, very aggressive. I am much more peaceful than that, but maybe I shouldn't be. All right, so Berlin is willing to sell me wood. I should make sure I get myself uh, an embassy, a trade consulate, I mean, with them. Hamburg has wood for sale. That's good. Florence is going to have iron for sale, so I should make sure I get one with Italy. Copenhagen is also going to have some. So I'm probably just going to get myself uh, trade deals with all the minor countries anyway. France. I don't want to deal with France. Ireland's going to have iron. Jeez. Okay. And copper is going to be coming out of Scotland. All right. So you've got your international relations screen where you can see a map of the world. There's a big gap over here for the new world. You can go through and offer treaties. I'm basically going to offer trade deals to all the minor powers just so that way as you do trade with them, you get relationships, and uh, every unit of trade builds that relationship. So sometimes it's worth it to buy resources, even if you don't necessarily need them, as long as you can afford it, because each exchange builds your relationship. And the more these factions start to like you, the closer you get to being able to incorporate them into your empire. Like Switzerland and I share an island. It would be awesome if I could just straight up annex Switzerland, but we'll get to that. All right. So I spent a little bit of money to create a bit of an embassy uh, building spree here. Excuse me, consulate building spree embassies or something else. You can have, uh, this shows you your overall influence. So right now I'm yellow with everybody. That's not great. Uh, I need to work on that. The greener, the better. And unlike the last game where it was various shades of brown, they gave you an actual red to green scale, right? Something red is bad. The lighter orange it gets, the better the better, till it shifts over to green and on its way up to bright green. Green means go. In the last game, it was like three different shades of brown that you just had to kind of look at. So I was so glad when they fixed that in the sequel. You can offer foreign grants. I mean, these are basically straight up government bribes, but they do uh, affect your relationship. And then trade policies. I want to offer some subsidies to some of the uh, countries, and I can't yet because I haven't technically established my consulates with them. But once I do, I'm going to want to give them some um, incentives to do business with me. What I don't want is Ireland and Germany and you know Switzerland selling all their stuff to all the other major powers. Ah, and then you get a sense of who is winning. You're just based on how many provinces you have. Um, the money is made in the new world, but the game is won and lost in the old world. So here we go. One last piece I need to set, and that's my research agenda. First thing I like to go for very quickly is the road construction. So where is it? Road construction. This allows my roads to bring in twice as many resources from the same area. So now I get to see the things I would need to make that happen. So let's see, sawmill gets me level two timber gathering, iron mine, level two iron gathering, that's lovely. Um, deficit spending, uh, you know what? The fleet is a wonderful ship and you can see you got some costs here. If you're making good money, you can up your investment and it'll get you the technology a little faster. Also, you are competing against the AI, so as they start to unlock these techs, you'll begin to see little flags pop up indicating like, oh, England already knows this tech. That's very useful because you can send spies to steal tech from your rivals. I love this game. All right, that's everything I can do for right now. So let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, offer sheet. Switzerland's offering me four units of timber. Uh, I'm only going to buy one. Let's see who else is out there who wants to do deal. And you only need to do one in order to get the benefit from the trade. So if whether I buy one or four, my relationship with Switzerland will still go up the same. So let's just see here. We'll do, oh, not 11. Good heavens. We'll do one. Germany wants some timber. Okay, I'll give you one. Scotland's also offering timber. Uh, all right, I'll just, you know, one. And Ireland's offering me iron. I'll take it. Denmark's offering me iron. I'll take it. Italy is also offering me iron. I don't need that much anymore. All right, so between my liquidated, basically my domestic money and what I bought, 
I lost about a hundred bucks that turn from trade. Um, could be far worse. Okay, established consulates in all these places. That's wonderful. And they all kind of came to me for trade. I don't feel like I needed to do any subsidies, so we're just going to stick with it. Ah, my explorer did not find anything in the mountains, so let's go on. He is continuing to build roads because we need to get out and get some meat in this thing. Because my people are currently eating more than I'm transporting, and that's just unacceptable. Uh, oh, England's uh, out and about. Let's, uh, let's get my little ship exploring here. All right, nothing else has changed, so we can end our turn. Germany's offering me timber. Switzerland's offering me timber. Ireland's offering me iron. Italy, iron. All right, almost broke even. And you can see the prices start to fluctuate in real time as people buy stuff that goes up and down. I love games with dynamic marketplaces like that. Haha! -ha! Most favored trade status game with a couple of these. Ooh, I found my own source of domestic copper. That's good. That's good. We're going to want to make sure we get that mined. You keep going. Let's see. I now have sufficient grain. So I think I'm going to come down here and begin work on my cattle farm. Let's continue to explore. A couple turns till I get these. I am going to offer some incentives to a couple of these. So basically now what this means, if Germany, Switzerland, or Ireland does a deal with me, uh, they get a 5% discount. Um, so they're going to get a little bit more if they shop with me. It can encourage the AI to offer the deal to you before it offers it to another player. Um, and it helps keep you the preferred uh, trading partner because they're going to offer their goods to their preferred trade partner first. Yep, Switzerland, Germany, Ireland. Okay, that, that time nobody else offered me anything else, so that's fine. As long as I can buy two wood and one iron a turn, I'll break even on those resources and not deplete my stores. And hey, I actually made money that turn from trade. Okay, a domestic source of coal. Nice. Let's see what's in the swamps. Swamps are a great source of tin, if you can get them. Mm, oh, I see a coastline. That means the potential for native peoples. Get going, ships. All right, I'm breaking even on grain now. That's a good start. I'm still not there on cattle yet because not having any cattle near the capital really is tough. Mm. All right, nothing's really changed yet. One of the nice things you can do is establish embassies. Embassies allow you access, basically territorial access, to the minor power. So then you can send your explorers to search the things that aren't directly adjacent to the capital and begin to establish uh, roads, mines. You can buy resources from them uh, and invest in their territory. And then that builds your relationship. So there's just there's so many delicious layers here. I do love it. All right, Germany, Switzerland, Ireland. Good. Ah, I have discovered the Cherokee, so cotton and spices. Mm. So cotton is one of the big three resources that you can't get in Europe. You have to import it from the New World. It's cotton, tobacco, and uh, sugar cane. Uh, if you've played Clans of Caledonia with me, right, those are the big three at the end that score you all those points. Um, but one of the other ones is that you can get spices. Spices um, and precious metals like gems, gold, and silver are found in the New World. And they're just a straight-up source of cash. You buy them off the uh, native power for a certain price, and they're immediately converted to profit. And the better your relationship with the natives, the cheaper that price gets. So you can just start really importing lots of gold and jewels and spices and turn it into a real moneymaker. So there's big incentive for being the first person to sort of corner that market. All right, let's see here. How am I even doing on resources? That's my trade screen. That's not going to tell me anything. Okay, so far I'm sort of breaking even here with those. That's good. Make it as far as Duro, please. All right, you. Why don't you build me that horse farm so that I can start selling horses as a source of money? My gosh, what the 
the, the Holland is already here. Stop exploring. I found this place. Ugh. All right. So as you can see, we're all scrambling for the new world. It, it feels very historical in that way. One of the things I do wish to do is I'm going to get myself a second explorer. Uh, and unlike the last game where you needed to have people to be turned into units on the main map, here you can just buy them straight up for some cash and the papers required to train them at university. And I'm also going to get myself a merchant. Merchants represent the developers of the last game. And what they do is basically buy land in the new world. So that way you can get um, access to resources. Because if you're selling to yourself, you're making money. If your native allies are selling to other people, you're making a cut of that money. Uh, so for a small expenditure up front, you can make decades worth of profit here. It's pure imperialism. All right. Uh, any text? How are my text doing? Five, five, and three. Cool. Spain wants to ally with Portugal. I accept. I mean, I don't know anything about what Spain's plans are, but it, it helps to have allies in this game. Germany, Switzerland, Ireland. Lovely. New alliance. Look how happy they are. Shaking hands over the table. And I got new civilians. A merchant and an explorer. Ooh, I found domestic tin. That's great. Uh, keep exploring. You, Mr. Explorer, you're gonna come over this way. I want you to explore and clear away some of this landmass. So your boats can get you the coastline, which is great. Uh, but if you want to see inland, you've got to send an explorer in to really look around. Plus, if you want them to prospect for resources, you got to send the explorers in. All right, merchants, we're gonna go ahead here. Right, I can't do that yet because I don't have that relationship with the uh, person. So we're just going to wait. I need to create, a, I need to at least find the embassy of the, uh, by the, find the embassy, find the capital of the Cherokee before I can start buying stuff from them. I don't technically know the Cherokee yet. All right. Um, I, could, I would bring in fish. I think instead I would rather just focus on... Two. Yeah. I'd rather have a road come up this way. He didn't find anything there. Hmm. You. Good sir. Why don't you move nowhere? But I do need you to move out of the way. Move over there. You start bringing a road up that way. Now that I have horses, I can start offering up a horse every turn. Because I now have horses in my trade network. Yay! And I think I'm going to want to get my hands on some extra grain. Because I need to grow my workforce. Having four peasants in my capital is a joke. Wood, wood, iron, lovely. Oh, aha, I've discovered the capital of the Cherokee. Wonderful. Sugarcane and tobacco, huh? Oh, and I found some nice domestic uh, copper there. Ooh, more spices. Ooh. Ooh. All right, um... Over there. That's trade. Let's get a trade consulate with the Cherokee. And now well, let's grab embassies with Germany, Switzerland, and Ireland, because those are the big three who have been doing so well for me. Now, what I'm going to want is access, I think, to the sugar that the Cherokee have. But in order to do anything with that sugar, I'm gonna need to refine it. So let's go ahead and get sugar refining started. And now, let's get some bids going for sugar cane. Because if I can start making manufactured sugar, I can sell it in Europe for a high price. And that's how we get this money flowing. Because right now, I'm, I'm running a deficit. <laughs> 
Or the Cherokee are offering timber. Ah, I want to grow this relationship, but I don't need that right now. Plus, I only have so many boats. Ireland's offering that. All right. Five, there are five news items to interest this report. I have new, assemb uh, new embassies. I have a consulate with the Cherokee. I am the most favored trade partner of the Cherokee. Look, look at this. Look how happy he is. He's got his little bag of money, his little chest of gold. He's so delighted. 50 bags of gold. Let's see, let's hear it. What else is around the Cherokee capital? Uh, merchant, why don't you go... Not yet. Not yet. I think. Let's go ahead and get ourselves... First, let's get defensive packs. Basically, a pact is just a non-aggression agreement that you can sign with minor powers. Um, it, they'll never attack you. It's just you promising not to attack them. And it does give you a nice relationship boost. Uh, and then let's get an embassy with the Cherokee so that I can start extracting their resources. And then you get up there because I need you to get to that uh, livestock pen. Hmm. All right, a couple different places around here. And to English, hard at work, exploring away. German wood, Switzerland wood. I don't need any Cherokee wood, please. Irish, and Cherokee sugar cane. All right, my pact has improved my relationship. Have an embassy with the Cherokee. Oh, and a couple more texts came in. And England has a consulate with Scotland. All right, go England. Oh, good cotton there, sugar cane. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy these uh, sugar cane fields because I'm already buying from them. So now I wanna pay myself. It stinks to pay that right now, but over the long run, I'll make that back and more. So some nice, lovely imperialism going from there. Here. God, my domestic resource production is just garbage, but uh, it's because I'm trying to get myself more domestic meat. I just don't have any. Now, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Which of these would be nice to get? Deficit spending. Level 2 spice gathering. I won't say no to that. Alright. What did I say? What did I say? It takes like five turns before the Europe is like, oh, I found native peoples. Let's just conquer them. So it looks like Swedish bowmen and knights. I mean, it is 1520, so I guess that still makes sense. Have gone and conquered the uh, Huron province of Ottawa. So it's now a province of Sweden. They just straight up take it. It's one of the problems you have in this game is that if you are not careful, the AI will just literally absorb all of the native territory. Uh, so one of the things you can do is protect it with investments because if they attack a territory that has some of your investments, it has the potential to draw you in uh, as a protector of that state. So there's something there, but it's really taking a chance. Uh, all right. I haven't found anything else lately. Let's keep looking. All right, all right, let's keep, uh, let's keep exploring and see what we can uncover on the land here. I do want to buy up these spice plots now, but all I can. <sighs> this copper and this tin will let me build uh, proper... Uh, girders. I can get some nice uh, bronze girders there, so let's get these done. Hmm. And then if I keep this going, that's just a lot of wood I can draw from. So let's go ahead and keep that road going. Alright, what's over here? Oh, look, I just found the territory that Sweden conquered. Good God. That took no time whatsoever. Oh, road, road level two. I can now gather twice as many resources from the same area. That's a pretty important one, especially when you're someone like me who doesn't have a lot of domestic cattle. I'm going to have to really squeeze the fields I have to get the most out of them. 
Germany, Switzerland, no, Ireland, yes, okay. Ah, did you see that? I made back some of the money I invested in sugar. Only like 11 more turns of that and I should break even. Ooh, good, domestic uh, iron. Let's see what else I can find. <gasps> more spices. Um, however, I now have enough meat and I have a little bit of extra grain. Let's see if I can't get more workers. Yes! Wonderful. I can afford to feed more workers. Which will in turn give me probably some bronze, which I think I can start selling. Actually, I, more important than bronze is that I get fabric back. Ugh, because I need that for more workers. Ooh, 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 look at that! England already has improved sea routes, so if I were to send a spy to England, I could definitely steal some of that and speed along the progress there. But I am an honest imperialist. I do not steal. Also, I need to establish an embassy with the Cherokee. All right, so look at that. Overseas profits, right? Sugarcane. The Cherokee sold it, and we got a cut of 37. Um, the cuts we get get better as your relationship gets better, so it's one of those things to, like... Rather than try and do business with everyone on the planet simultaneously, find a couple European powers, a couple native powers, and just make them your emphasis. Um, because you'll get to a point where the trade deals become just so good for you. Um, you won't know what to do with the kind of money you're bringing in. Oh, the Huron! All right. Well, they're already damaged goods. Um, and someone else has already found the Incas. They're damaged goods because Sweden has already taken a bite out of the Huron. Uh, my two extra peasants they're going to start getting me some textiles back which is nice because i'm actually i'm using two a turn and i'm already bringing in two a turn i don't have to worry about running out of that anytime soon lovely germany switzerland i keep forgetting to send an embassy to the cherokee ireland cherokee. who the heck did france attack tino huh AI's vicious. They waste no time. They sent peasants and a knight? Good heavens. It's those armored knights. The poor natives just have, like, no alternative to them. They don't have anything that they can keep track of that'll fight back like that. Ugh. Alright, I think I'm... I think... Uh, I think I'm gonna have this guy rest for a little bit. He's been doing some pretty aggressive, uh trading here. That's going to make me a bunch of uh, timber. But I think I would rather have him head over to my new money buddies and focus on bringing in some spices. Six, six, one. If I was to want one of these fancy new things, I'm actually, I almost have what I need. Just need to get some more of that. A little bit more cloth. That would save me just a little wood. All right. All right. And if I'm going to start importing spices, I'm going to need more ships. Sweden are continuing to just beat the heck out of the Huron. Gosh. Let's get a, I already have an embassy. Let's get a trade pact with the Cherokee. And the 
Amaya's want to offer me sugarcane? I won't say no. How are the relationships going? Alright, I've managed to get Germany, Switzerland, and Ireland up to the same level as the other neutral powers, so that's good. Let's see here. What are some of these? Uh, let's see. Best relationship and best trade partner is me. Best relationship, trade partner, me. Scotland's or Spain. Italy's or Holland's. Denmark's or England. All right, so everyone's got someone they're doing business with. That's good. That's good. All right, I'm going to be building. I'm going to build a port. That port is then going to let me uh, export haha, these uh, resources. So let me get... Um, start working there on that. Port will give me an, a way to get resources out of the Cherokee's land. Otherwise, I have to just directly connect them to their capital, which is going to drive me crazy. Switzerland, Germany. No more offers of timber. Yes. 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 Oh gosh, the French are continuing to expand. Oh, so my poor cat's on some medication right now. She has a little bit of a, a recurring infection in her nose, but it just, it really messes with her insides and, um, I was able to hear that through my headphones. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You're gross, kitty. Ugh, I do feel bad for you, though. All right, uh, Pact with the Cherokee improves our relationship. I can now get more spices going. I can now do something with my sugar production. <gasps> Yay! And I'm the most favored trade partner of the Mayas. Probably because I just haven't conquered them yet. Poor natives are getting kicked left and right. All right, my next thing I want to get myself situated with here is journeymen. I want to figure out how to get these guys. I'm going to need cigar production. And, oh, I'm already able to do apprentice workers, but I'd rather get printing press first. I want to get more investment for my buck. sent back to the mainland. Wow. Alright. Um, slip on through to the Tipu Sea. Let's keep going. We're getting a little low on cash. It worked! My trade network is set up. Look at that. The Cherokees offer me one unit of spice at $26 per unit, which I can immediately turn around for $50 cash, meaning I make a profit of $24. As my relationship gets better, I'm gonna get that price down. We're gonna we're gonna show you guys the art of the deal. We're gonna start getting these spices for next to nothing. Except, give me that wood, wood, no more wood, please. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. So I sold sugar cane, and we received a cut and sold spices. All right, I discovered the capital of the Aztecs and the Incas, and I've discovered furs. Look at these happy little beavers. What else can I find here? Unexplored mountains in my own territory? Well, you shall explore them. Cherokee, let's see what we can find. Um, I'm just gonna let the merchant rest for a little bit. He's already engaged in a pretty aggressive campaign of resource gathering. I keep building roads because I gotta connect these different places to my trade network. Let's see here. And because that's adjacent to the port, that gets the maximum. I can potentially go up to four without having to do anything. 
I just need to get another roadway out here, and that'll connect all these, and then a road up here, it'll connect these, and I'll have a nice chunk of Cherokee's land making money for me. Um, but, you know, that's the Cherokee chose to sell it to me, I suppose. But the other reason why I don't necessarily love this is that, like, it's a little deterministic. Like, oh, the Cherokee will always, you know, be the ones who are, like, getting taken advantage of. And, uh, it's not great. Alright. I know that we can't yet support and feed these people, but we will be able to, and that's what matters. Hey, Holland was spying on me. Well, fortunately, we got rid of their spy, so. This is the other issue with this game, is that the requirements for building things ramp incredibly high. So... To build the first level farm cost me one wood, one steel. The next one is going to cost me four and four, then eight and eight, then like 16 and 16. It costs a ridiculous amount as it gets up there. Um, and so, yeah, it is quite the thing to begin to get the higher level uh, importation of stuff. All right, I don't have enough fish, and I don't have enough grain, I don't have enough meat. We're going to work on that. Because what I do have enough of, yep, is to start making sugar. And I'm going to need that for the things I have planned. Because I'm going to start offering sugar to the market. And look at that, 285. Also, no one's buying my damn horses. Do the militaries of Europe not need cavalry? I don't know. What's going on here? Give me that. One. One. Yes. I found what is left of the Taino. There it is, poor Cuba. Ah. Oh, we're getting out of the cream and into some of the green. From cream to green, that's how you know they like you. We're making progress. Oh shoot, I just bought Cherokee wood. Ah! Yes, Germany, I'll do it. No, 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 no more wood. Ireland, and yeah, I don't have any more boats left. Everyone's trying to offer me timber right now. No, I found some domestic coal. Lovely. Ooh, and more spices. Okay, good. Those spices are now in range. And those spices will be in range. So let's go ahead and get you back. You need more grain. Ugh, not enough wood. very careful about what I say yes to here if I'm going to keep the proper balance of my relationships going. No more mountains. One more hill. I also love this feature because it tells you exactly what's where and what needs to be seen in the territories you're in. Go ahead and get that. I need to finish exploring the new world so I can get my ship home. Oh, gosh. Uh, want to become famous with lots of weird emphasis on the letters. Buy followers, primes, and views. I'd love to. I can barely afford to sub the people I like on here. Thank goodness for that Amazon Prime. It's the only thing that lets me sub to day nine right now. I don't have the kind of money laying around. Mm. Yes, 288. Let's start selling that sugar cane. People need this. 
good source of money for me. Give me that. No. Yes. Yes. No. 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 My god. Yes. I don't have enough boats for everything else. Ah! I gotta fix this. Oh, that's beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alright, get some swamps explored. Explore some desert. Opening up the map. You wet rest. Alright, that's going to be... It's now adjacent to the road, so that's going to be just fine. Um, I don't get my spice network going. Uh, come back, mister, and I think you're going to have to build a fresh road out of... Uh, out of Lisbon, and I have to connect the rest of this grain. And then figure out how the heck I'm going to get more meat. I just don't have it. Yeah, I have three cattle farms in the whole of Portugal. This is just criminal. And I'm short two lumber. You know what? I'm going to let this guy just wait and build up my lumber. Uh, till I can get there. Because I don't know what else to do. Apprentice worker training. I'm going to need that. I can't import three. I just don't have enough. Reject. Yes. Yes. Reject. Yes. This is uh, problematic. I'm not importing any sugarcane. Ah. Discovered in the province of Calusa, a province of France, silver and gold can be converted to cash at 100 and 200 apiece once they're transported back to Europe. Oh good, my printing press is letting technologies be uh, increased more efficiently. That's lovely. And the Huron has what's left of the Huron has signed a pact with Holland. I have three and five. He needs one lumber. I have seven sugar cane. Yeesh. No, I'm not going to let either of those guys do anything. I need to just let stuff build up. And then pretty much once I've revealed this last bit of coast, i got to send this ship home and let it rejoin my trade network because I just don't have enough ships. And I would build more, but I don't have enough food for those ships. Oh, shoot. Forgot to upgrade my... Get fresh uh, stuff going here. You wait. Okay, yes. Build me some uh, meat because... We... Gosh, I'm struggling behind here. At least I'm breaking even on grain. I gotta get more meat into this empire. Alright, ship head home. Oh, there. I was able to actually buy some sugar cane. I'm still making money. Thank goodness. Thank goodness.
nothing for the merchant to do. Oh, all right, you, um, Monsieur Cattle. Uh, keep working on the grain, I guess. You gotta find a way to keep my people fed. You. Head back to port. Lovely. Level two sheep gathering. We'll take that. Ah, uh, it's getting a little low in the treasury. Yeah, I'm going to run out of um, Cherokee Town. I'm the only one bidding. Nobody's bidding. A bunch of people are bidding. Ditto there. No one's offering. No one's bidding, I mean. Ooh, I found more tin. Now that my ship is back, I finally have some better transport capacity. Yes, Cherokee, this is an excellent deal. I will buy those spices. Uh, I'm not going to buy your wood. I will buy some German and Swiss wood. No one else's. Ireland, I will get that sugarcane. And yes, I will get back to breaking even on sugarcane. And ugh, now Holland is taking a piece of the Huron away. They're just beating them up senseless. Ooh, 31%. I'm dropping frames like crazy tonight. I wonder why that is. Ouch. It's been so good the last couple games. Alright, he's gonna head back, so I'm gonna have to build out this way and up. Get back here and collect all this good stuff. support more workers. Good. Ah, diplomatic crisis with England. Ah, dueling each other. <laughs> the ambassador's blundering use of the canapé fork. Wait, I wasn't the most favored trade partner of the Cherokee? Who the hell else is doing business with the Cherokee? Somebody must be buying wood from them or something. Okay, we're getting, we're getting better here. Eight and eight. Six and six. Gosh. Ugh. There's no other way around it. <clears throat> There's just not enough meat in my empire. Where's the beef? Gosh, it's just brutal. Uh... I've explored everything there is to explore in Portugal. Time to go abroad. Keep exploring what you can find here. Well, you know what? If the Cherokee are selling wood to people, 
Or maybe they're selling cotton. I don't actually know what people are buying out there. Um, I'm gonna have to wait till the next trade screen to see who's been buying what. Two lumber, one cast iron. Yeah, just wait. Hmm, market information on some of these things is not available. Great. There we go. That'll get me more beef from my livestock flowing into the capital. That's good. Oh my gosh, a port is five and five. I'm just, I'm out of like everything. I just don't have enough. Ah, oh, this is like a real bottleneck right now. This is killing me. one of these newfangled guys. So let's go ahead and get that back. Let's go ahead and train up our first journeyman. And then with the leftover guy. Yeah, I feel like I could use a little bit more growth in my military. Let's get a nice arquebus. Wonderful. Sort of making money. Get out of here, Spain. You don't want to be stealing none of my secrets. Mostly because I'm not doing very well this playthrough. <laughs> Number and three cast iron. Alright, it's working. He's working. Eight and nine, eight and seven. I, oh, I'm almost up, but I'm going to be starving soon. Don't have enough in the warehouse. Ugh. Let's get some cheap techs researching for the time being. I want to completely fall behind, but I also don't want to spend any extra money if I don't have to. That's a better money term. Oh my gosh, we're into deficit territory. Oh, huzzah! I found something that's only quasi-useful to me. Send his orders. Boy, I love turn based games. <laughs> Not gonna offer that anymore. Mostly because I can't afford to. We're 
short on timber. We're going to make a bunch of iron this turn, though. timber production going here because I'm going to fall behind too much longer. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. No more. Yes. 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 No. Ugh. Interest. Oh, it's because I'm, I'm running on credit. Oh my gosh, I'm falling behind. I'm so broke. I'm the worst at this. <sighs> oh, undeveloped silver. That's It'll be beautiful. Can't afford that at the moment, but uh, only 320 for that silver. I would make that back in like two turns. Ah, oh, that would be gorgeous money for the coffers, which I desperately need. What are you saying? That there's perhaps a historical example of European powers just robbing indigenous people blind because they're broke? Doesn't sound right. Good, we're gonna get a port and we're gonna just have to use some of our shipping capacity for ship transportation for fish transportation because I don't know where else I'm gonna get more meat in my empire. Ugh. Or more like and it, this lack of meat is completely bottlenecking me. It's slowing everything else down. some more. And speaking of which, I've been buying timber up like crazy. Okay. Relationship is getting better with these three and with the Cherokee. They're part of my non-aggression network, so that's good. Sure, why not, Sweden? You monster. So we're going to get some fresh food, like fish. Oh, okay. I can now allocate more fish to come in. So four. That'll break me even. That will get me back to the positive for fish. Which I need if I'm ever going to get myself more boats. So let's go ahead and get that. Get myself a new person. Because I'm going to need more boats for all of this fish I'm going to be importing. And so the cycle goes around and around. Gosh. Ooh, the Aztecs bought uh, bronze off of me.
growing the size of my military. Uh, I'm not going to invest in any tech at the time being because I am straight broke. You wait your turn. and he's working on my 10th thing, so... Okay. Okay. We're slowly making progress here. I just need more wood. And I have got to keep a source of uh, sugar coming in because my apprentices demand refined sugar. That's part of the thing. They eat less food, but now they need their sweets. So I got to keep that going. Oh, okay. What a balancing act this has turned out to be. I'm not doing any tech right now because I'm still running a deficit. Back in the positive. <sighs> oh. And there's rest like that word negative again, but I don't care. I need that silver mine. You, what are you doing with your time? Heading up this way. My only other source of uh, livestock is up there. Go this way and get all this wrapped up. Ten and ten. Okay. Oh, I can start to rebuild some of that. I know my researchers are idle. Portugal doesn't have the money for a science program right now, all right? Back off. Cherokee are really starting to like me. Ah, we we'll finally get back into positive again. Here we go. Of course I don't have enough. Why would I? You. Get over here and build me a silver mine. I need Cherokee silver if I'm going to fund things in this empire. Oh, look at that. We have a whopping three in our warehouse now. Oh.
Okay, I have more silver. That's wonderful. I need more boats to take advantage of all this, though. Wow, there is quite literally nothing left for me to explore in Cherokee land. I have found it all. Time to go abroad! See what else there is. I just gotta, I gotta snag it before somebody else gets their mitts in it. One last place for me to go exploring. Oh, Jacksonville. Hello. And then that's going to connect all this. That's going to be connected to the trade network. It's going to be great. So, so great. Nine, and I'm at ten, nine, and I'm at ten. Beautiful. Oh, I'm able to stay afloat as long as I keep bringing in the goods. Nope, don't have enough for a new ship. The Cherokee offer one unit of silver for 30 a unit. And I sell it for 100 that's 70 profit on that. Cherokee silver and Cherokee spices make the world go round. Ugh, gosh. The Huron have just been cut to pieces. Gems or diamonds have been found. They're where the real money is at. Wow, they are worth so much. should be able to get myself up. Ah, sorry Ireland, I just, I need the sugar cane more. Jeez, these. So Sweden has like almost doubled in size since we started this. And I'm not sure why, viewers, but I somehow feel like this is your fault. All 
progress. There's the roads. Continuing. What do I need more of domestically? Food, to be sure. And wood for timber. Grain. Which is food. Meat. Which I need to get up there for that. I need more ships. I, I just... Alright, I don't, I don't really know where to actually have my guy go next as far as building uh, something, I guess. Head over this way and keep building up behind here. I know industry needs more labor. There's only so much I can do. What do you want from me? and start getting me more of something, damn it. <laughs> ten and ten, ten and ten, so I can break even for a while. sugar because without sugar I can't get more apprentice guys and without apprentices I'm stuck making these minuscule amounts okay, that's what I thought I can't afford anything else start working on getting bonus food up Oh, there we go. Now I can finally get things moving around with my overseas stuff. Got enough ships to start moving things back home the way it should have been all along. Which reminds me. Getting good. I can't really start offering, uh, asking them to join my empire though until they get higher. So I'm gonna need a better relationship with them. Plus, I don't have any bribes. So far, no one else is contesting me for those three. And if I can add them to me, I won't have to buy their resources anymore. I'll just get them. Which would be delightful, because right now. I'm just suffering under a bottleneck. Oh, we're back in the positive. 
Deficit spending's not the end of the world, as long as you can grow your economy to keep up. So say we all. Ah, oh, all right. Let's keep getting some more grain built up in my supply here. I'm going to need to get some paper back if I'm ever going to get more uh, researchers going. Mm, I do need to think about warships because the other European powers are going to pounce if they notice I'm just sitting around unarmed here. Also, have you noticed how cheaply I am getting spices these days? Like, just forget about it. Oh, it's beautiful. That's big money in the form of spices and silver. Plus, I'm getting a huge cut of the money I'm paying myself for sugarcane. And other people are buying my exported bronze. That's a good life. It's a good life. Still suffering a little bit, though, with an empty treasury. All the research I'm doing is costly. Sweden. Uh, England now! Everybody's getting in on this action. Maybe I need to just finally stop being Mr. Nice Guy. Get out of here, France. Build myself a warship and go invade something, because everyone else is doing it, and you can quit whenever you want. Four to seven regiments, but they're Native American troops, and I don't mean that as a disparagement. The game quite literally makes them terrible. Um... going to conquer anything. I would want to conquer something that's adjacent to um, my territory in the Cherokee, because my goal is to get the Cherokee on my side. Let's go ahead and begin the overtures. Begin the dance. Let's ask. The worst that can happen is they say no. One, one, one. Actually, this is the big one I need more of is iron ore. I'm finally bringing in more of this. The Sioux, they're now being conquered. Sweden is on a rampage this game. Hey, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Good job, Jappel. Of course you guys get a win without me. I'm over here being broke in the middle of the 1600s and you're over there getting chicken dinners. You better have a good clip for me. By the way, you should go on my, uh, if you're paying half attention to this, you should go on my YouTube channel and check, um, that clip I took the other day where none of the audio saved, I went back and I added sound effects and aud and uh, music to it, like it's a, like a Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger style uh, RPG. So it's, it's pretty goofy, but I'm proud of it. So uh, go give it a watch. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, the Cherokee rejected my Annex offer. 
What a shocker. Usually you have to court them a lot, which probably sends the wrong message to people because you keep asking and asking and asking, and eventually the AI says yes. Um, that's not how this should probably work. Alright, I'm almost out of trade capacity. Getting that. Getting that. And I need more sugar. Because I don't have it. Until I get more sugar, I can't get more apprentices. And I have sugar, but I just can't afford to transport it all. Not until I can get, like, either Germany or Switzerland or one of these others on my side. There it is. All right, we're going to start bringing in more sugar. Because if I can get more sugar, I can get more workers. And if I can get more workers, I can get more bang for my buck here. That's that's the goal. Ugh. All right, hats. Let's learn how to make hats. I don't know how to make hats yet. Holland wants an alliance? Sure. Fine. The Cherokee, it's down to $8 a unit. That's so much profit I make off of them. Ah. <sighs> I can now have sloops. Okay, wonderful. That is fantastic. Instead of a sloop, you're right. Let's train one of these guys up in the ways of apprenticeship. And then import a crap ton of sugar real fast because... And actually, 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 good point. Uh, self, if I am not building a sloop, get a fleet. It's a bigger ship and it's got more cargo capacity. And frankly, I needs it. Beautiful. A beautiful new ship for my collection. Feet is cutting in and out. Happening to Joe as well. Not sure if there's anything I can do. Huh. Um. Good question. Let me see. One second. Do, do, do.
So, thank you for telling me that, Jappel. Um, funny story, I never plugged in my hardline because I spent so much time fighting with getting the game to appear on screen that I never actually ran the hardline down the hallway and plugged it in. So that is why we have that problem, because the whole thing, ah, is a nightmare, was running off of Wi-Fi. Ugh. Well, better late than never, and at least I recorded this so when I upload it later I can smooth out any of the rough spots. But, yeesh. <laughs> All right. Yep, I'm glad you said something, because I had no idea. But that would explain why I'm at 45% dropped frames right now. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to buy that because I need it for myself. Boom. I need it to get my sugar production back on track. Eleven, twelve, eleven, thirteen. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. I'm going to need more of those. Ooh, you know what? Let's sell some paper. Why not? Get a little extra paper cash flow going in there. Oh, the Cherokee love me! What a life I'm leading. All right. <clears throat> Let us uh, invite them in like a vampire. See if they want to join the empire. Attacked by Sweden, and England is beating up on the Aztecs. They're not leaving me a lot of land to play with here. Now is the time to get myself slooped up nice and proper. Cherokee, I'm just going to keep asking until you say yes. You want to be annexed by me. You really, really do. I can get level 3 livestock, but I don't have level 3 roads, so I won't even be able to bring them home. Ah, oh, precious metals. Yeah, good, give me that. I'm paying myself now with all this sugar. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes, that's proper money making. Now we're talking. I received a massive cut of my overseas trade. That's great. Portugal, France, England, Holland, Spain. Everyone's buying timber. I guess I need to start uh, buying up, like, timber all around the globe. So that way... Yeah, 98 bucks? Sure, buy it. Because if they're selling it, I want a cut. I want a cut of that money. Let me check on how my hard line's doing. 
I am now hardline, so that's good. I <laughs> not believe I forgot to do that. Meaning I've been, like, juddering and stuttering this whole time as I do this on Wi-Fi. Ugh, I am the worst. Yeah, there's a reason why I'm not a Twitch affiliate with, you know, making that sweet, sweet cash. Now is the time. Boom. Yes, give me that warship. Because once I have a warship, I can send my troops abroad and start getting some of the other um, <clears throat> native peoples under my domain. Of course, what what's left that hasn't already been claimed? I don't have a clue. Like, I'm just <laughs> gonna have to figure it out here. Ugh. Might just have to take some things for myself. And then figure out how to make it profitable later. I do love the music in this. It's just fantastic. here to explore. like the Mayas and the Incas have yet to be really interfered with much. The Quackeetle are almost gone, and the Huron are all but gone, the Iroquois are pretty much beat up. Oof. No conquests yet. I don't want to be that guy. I'm going to do this. We're going to do it the right way. By completely dominating their trade and browbeating them into joining me. Ooh, somebody found gold. more than I'm willing to pay. Whoa, do not want to click that, because I still want my relationship to grow with these two.
Hmm. Wait. of this wood we're going to turn this place into a town improvement center because once you can get town improvement which actually let me figure out how i get that if i don't already have the capability your cities will start to produce um resources based upon the improvements that they have around them uh, so you can start to have uh, I'm not going to change anything you can start to have basically finished goods being manufactured by your your towns um, as long as they're fed enough raw resources around them and it's a really great way to speed up production in the later stages of the game so let's if I can get more uh, wood production around here uh, Braga Braganza Braganza, Braganza, is going to become my timber capital. Algarve doesn't really have enough of anything, really, unfortunately, to get going here. Might be able to get um, cloth out of uh, Tras Osmonts. Maybe if I really level up my copper mines, I can get some. But without, nope, without tin, the copper's no good to me. And then Lisbon's not going to give me anything. And Duro, besides having amazing wine, just has a lot of grain and cattle. Ugh, that's a shame. I'm getting these now for seven and three. I'm making so much money off of them. And yet I'm somehow, like, broke. I'm certainly making plenty. Because at this point, I'm desperate to do anything to get my uh, economy to rebound. Sweden's continuing to conquer things. Oh, there we go. Sold paper, sold bronze. The Cherokee sold timber, and I get a cut of it. Actually, I get the lion's share of it. Yay! Uh, sugar cane. Okay. Ugh. Oh, the Cherokee sold cotton, and I got a cut of it. That's why you buy the land. That right there just paid for the entire field in one fell swoop. And now the cash is starting to come up. 
I know you're rejecting the Annex offers, but I don't want you to reject the Annex offers. I want you to accept the Annex offers. Ugh. You head up this way. Let's see if we can't get some more uh, bronze production going. I'm actually starting to rebuild my wood and iron supplies. Bronze and paper are holding steady. I'm largely selling one of those a turn, which isn't bad. All right, I'm up to double digits in that. Let me see if I can't start selling some wool or fabric. Woo, fabric. Excuse me. But the Cherokee really like me. Let's see if we can throw in a little grant there to get that, get some bribes underway. It's only by a miracle that the European powers have stayed away from the Cherokee. Like, I cannot believe they haven't overrun them. And who on earth is going to put, put Sweden in their place? Because... France declared war on the minor nation of Germany. Hey, they're my buddy. Do you want to intervene and declare war on France? So if I, oh boy, here we're, we're getting put to a challenge. If I do this, Germany automatically becomes mine. But this is likely to drag me into a web of issues here. France has a bunch of overseas stuff. France has deals with the Incas and Scotland. Whereas I have alliances with like most of the world, including the very powerful Sweden. You know what? I accept. I'm getting this for free! has been declared against the tyrannical forces of France. France declares war on Germany. Spain, Holland, and Sweden all declare against France. That's what I'm talking about. I get Germany, and everyone else is going to kick the crap out of France. Yes! That's the spirit. Oh, 1640. Suck it, France. All right. Ooh, all right. What that now means is, yep, I have access to France's trade network, or excuse me, Germany's trade network. I just have to connect it by road network like I would my own territory, but I no longer have to buy because this all now belongs to me. And actually, I think the first thing I'm going to do is depopulate Germany by sending their soldiers to go invade France. Um... Yep, this is all, these are good German troops, and we are, uh, mm hmm, there's only so much you can do, huh? I mean, I plugged in my hard line, I, I guess that hasn't fixed it. I might have to just wash tonight up and, uh, I don't know, is this still juddery? I, on my end, all I get is the, the preview window, so I wasn't seeing the problems.
I was hoping that the hard line would, would take over. Hopefully it hasn't dropped any more frames too badly. All right, so we're going to get those guys. Here's the only downside is my food demands have suddenly shot through the roof because I now have to pay for Germany's troops. Let's get my one measly warship out here. I mean, am I going to land at Normandy? I'm certainly going to try. <laughs> German forces are going to land in Normandy and steal all this beef steak for the Portuguese. <laughs> it might not work. It might blow up in my face, but, you know, you got you to gotta try. We'll see what happens. Cherokee, Cherokee. I forgot to ask the Cherokee to join uh, my side again. Let's see, province changes hand. Oh my gosh, France wasted no time and just straight up invaded Spain. They took Castile. And Spain blew it trying to take part of uh, French territory in the colonies. That's not a great start for my allies. I, I won't lie. However, I'm making really good money right now, so that's something. Now, researchers. And by researchers, I mean uh, scouts. Head on up and investigate my brand new German provinces. Germany wants to be part of Portugal. It is known. the fleet prepares for the naval attack. The royal wedding with England. Ships in the landing zone will support a force of size 1. I have selected a force of size 8. Whoops. I kind of forgot that I was going to need more warships if I was going to do this. Ah, uh, good thing. I have access to... Yep, let's get a heavy galleon. Let's start... Uh, let's get that going. And you know what? Uh, now's probably a great time for a spy. So I can steal some tech from these people. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, rescind orders. Actually, what I wouldn't mind is you to just intercept ships coming and going from France. France has come groveling for an end to their war with our great empire. Will you accept? But well, that will cause my alliances to break. Then I reject. Sweden continues to fight the Aztecs. And Spain continues to fail to fight France. My god. Whoa, Denmark is now the vassal of England. All right. That's news. So we got things moving and shaking in Europe. 
yeah, there's, uh, there's England, and now there's Denmark. I mean, I can't say anything. I've made somebody else become my vassal, but still, I don't like it when they do it. I mean, Cherokee, look at that. The Cherokee love me. How are they not going to accept my offer of vassalhood? <coughs> Privateers intercept merchants. Portugal's task force in the Groningen Sea of one vessel under patrols to... I captured one of his merchant vessels. Huzzah! England is busy fighting the Taino. And Holland is fighting the Pueblo. I need you all to fight France. <laughs> you guys are killing me. It happened! The Cherokee have joined the Empire! <laughs> and I realized that no one on Twitch can see this because my connection is so terrible tonight. Oh, that's terrible news. But it's alright because it's, they joined! I got them! Yes! Now we're going to use the Cherokee military to overrun France's colonies. <laughs> this is all going to be mine! Portugal, I need it. Okay, all right. It just reminds me. Where are France's... <laughs> Where are France's colonies in the New World? <laughs> Nowhere near the Cherokee, of course not. Why would they be? getting rid of that. I just cannot afford to feed all of these people. Concentrate the Cherokee army, and then we're gonna really draw down its, its size because these this is huge, and there's no possible way my food network can withstand this. So get to marching. Gosh, that's just so much. <laughs> That's so much. I can't possibly feed all that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're in real trouble. We're gonna have to shrink the size of that military fast. Oh my god, France is continuing to conquer Spain. This is not how this was supposed to go. Are you guys kidding me? This is terrible.
Actually, give me back that guy in Germany. Where is he? You rescind your orders. Whoa, 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 where on earth did I click? Head up there. We're finally going to get more beef added to this party. All right, here's the Cherokee. I can't cross through allied territory. That makes no sense. All right, then what we're going to do is sack most of these people because I can't afford to feed them. Still too much. All right, there we go. We'll use that to defend the capital of the Cherokee. Ugh, better, but not great. My guys are going to start getting sick soon if I don't get them properly fed. They don't like when they can't eat. Okay, good. Let's look at that in two turns. And I'm stealing it from France presently, so that's something. showed up with a galleon of their own. That stinks. Fortunately, it looks like my ship uh, maintained a careful distance. Hopefully it was not completely destroyed. Oh, right. Duh. I forgot. I captured one of their ships. I never sent it home. <laughs> totally forgot I captured one of their merchants. Ah, I am the worst at this. Sweden's still just continuing to do its thing. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're killing me. Will no one rid me of this troublesome France? Yeah, yeah, I know my, re my guys are like frustrated by a lack of resources. that to my trade network. Let's get as much livestock built as I can. Thank you. 
All right, there we go. Now we've got the size of the fleet better. What on earth did I dispatch? Right, because that's a large merchant. Okay. And then, once I finally have my ships in good order, I'll actually do the damn invasion. problem of annexing people too quickly you run into food problems get through this turn. My gosh, how are they unable to take this stuff from France? How are they unable to take this from France? Why is France so powerful? Alliance with Spain broken, they must have made a peace deal. Grr. There, Paris is undefended, and my ships are ready to attack it. Gosh, go and finish it. And you, Hamburg. I specifically had you guys waiting for this very thing. Insufficient cannon strength to attack. I mean, yes. Send even more. All right, I already have sufficient forces. Okay, then if that's the case, ditch these bowmen. Ditch these crossbowmen. I don't need them. They don't serve any use in the modern era. I'm basically using them as cannon fodder. That goes double for you, Cherokee. I don't even know why I'm continuing to entertain. Oh, well, here's the good news. Nine in that. Okay, okay, okay. There's actually 15... 13, I just need one more. <sighs> and I won't starve to death anymore. Where did all these cannon come from? They weren't there! What is this nonsense? Ah, oh, I'm never gonna take the fort like this. Hurry up, get your guys in range. You're all over the place. Never gonna take the fort like this. Ow! Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, please bring forward the horse artillery and definitely make sure you get extra shots off. That'll be that'll be capital.
<laughs> My guys are already streaming off the field. There, I wasn't originally going to attack the capital, but there was nobody there. And now there definitely is. Also, why are there guys getting to go like three times? Ugh. Without a guy to rally my people, this battle is was over before it began. Uh, let's go ahead and retreat, everybody! Ow! Yes, I'm already retreating. Ow! Oh, you can kill the bowmen. I don't actually care about them. Ah, oh, there was nobody in their capital, and then all of a sudden these guys just magically appeared. Unacceptable. Yeah, I should have attacked Normandy like I had planned. Ugh. Oh, I'm so glad that provinces, that Spain has taken the time to keep fighting Jacksonville. And yeah, my attack failed. Ugh. What a wreck. Alright, this has not been my best effort ever. However, I did have fun. Uh, although I'm sorry that everyone else didn't get to see as much of it. That's, um, a real bummer. Guess that's an important lesson. Plug in my hard line. All right, it is after nine, so I am going to uh, see everyone next week. I hope you have a wonderful uh, December, what is it, 8th? Good gosh. Have a wonderful December 8th, and I will talk to you later. Bye.